The death penalty is a very controversial topic of discussion. In this video, I have decided to separate the pros and cons into three groups. Moral and ethical arguments. Arguments relating to the efficiency of the death penalty as a deterrent. And arguments relating to the financial cost of it. The main moral argument in favour of the death penalty is that it fairly exacts justice. The punishment, death, fits the crime, which in most cases is murder. Furthermore, proponents of the death penalty believe that certain crimes require the offender to be put to death. A good example of this is the Japanese system, where the death penalty is only used on people who have committed multiple murders. Opponents of the death penalty argue that it is a backwards method, in line with outdated thinking of an eye for an eye, and that it gives the government too much power. In the US, opponents of the death penalty argue that it breaches the Eighth Amendment of the US Constitution, of a cruel and unusual punishment. Proponents argue that the death penalty could not be represented as a cruel and unusual punishment because it already existed when the Eighth Amendment was being written, thus the writers of it could have already called it out if they wanted to, but they didn't. The next group of arguments concerning the death penalty relate to whether or not it is an effective deterrent. Proponents argue that having death as the punishment for murder deters criminals and that it provides closure to the families of victims. Opponents argue that there is no evidence of the death penalty being an effective deterrent, and that the death penalty cannot console families, as it cannot bring back the murdered. Furthermore, opponents argue that the vigour with which the death penalty is pursued has led to a disproportionate number of black people being executed. In the USA, 35% of those executed since 1976 are black even though black people make up only 13% of the US's population at large. The final argument for or against the death penalty concerns its cost. Opponents argue that those on death row cost a lot more than those in prison for life due to the lengthy appeals process. Proponents argue that this appeals process only exists because of the lobbying of opponents of the death penalty and that the process therefore could be streamlined if the lobbying stopped, reducing costs. However, this risks putting to death the innocent, a mistake that cannot be undone. In conclusion, it seems that the death penalty is favoured by some who believe certain crimes are so heinous that they necessitate death, whereas others oppose it because they don't believe the government should have the power to kill people. Opponents also maintain that the death penalty is expensive, an ineffective deterrent, and that it risks putting to death the innocent. Proponents hold that the death penalty provides closure to families, and that making death the punishment for murder does deter potential criminals who may have murdered if not for it being in place. That's the death penalty. Thanks for watching. Please like, please share, and please subscribe.